We're back again today with segment four, Get Your Pilates Button Gear, the Pelvic Lift Series. So we're building to this entire series. The first day we learned the pelvic lift and you felt how it really worked through the hamstrings, the, the buttocks, the low back, and how it really worked your spine and learning to articulate. We also made modifications. The day two, or section two, we worked with lifting the heels up and down to further work our hamstrings, our buttocks, and challenge our pelvic stabilization and, and our low back. And then the next time, we worked on marching, which is truly excellent for stabilization. But make sure that you can do day one, day two, day three, before you try this section, which will be the hip swing. So remember your modifications. Watch what I'm doing first, then do it. I normally do four to five repetitions a day, but I also do other things to warm up my low back and spine. So let's get started. Take a second, check in. Remember to really stay tuned, listen to your body's wisdom. Begin to lie on your back. That was graceful, not. Open your arms out to the side. Let's begin immediately with warming up. Make sure that you can feel the weight on the big toe and the little toe in the center of your heel. The heels are a comfortable position, a distance from your body. You've got the energy between your ankles, knees, and upper inner thighs. Arms are out the side. Now let's begin with our tuck and arch just to warm up the spine. Some of you may need to do more tuck and arches than I'm doing, and that's fine. Inhale again. Now exhale, curl your tailbone to your waist. Inhale again, try to roll evenly, reach through the whole foot and through the knees. Exhale and curl down, and then forward into an arch. Use your breath. I'm going to do this again without talking, maybe. Inhale. One more time. I do have to say, make sure the rib cage is back and make sure you're not pushing those belly muscles out. Now let's warm up the spine a little bit more with our belly presses, our rib and our shoulder presses. So take a breath in, find the pelvic floor, the sits bone, the belly pulls up, keep your hip flexor soft, don't let your pelvis move yet. Now exhale, press your belly, ribs and shoulders back. So you pull that belly back and across. She felt really pulling across and coming around all the way into that back. Make sure you don't tuck your hips when you do this one. We're not going to the pelvic lift yet. One more time. Inhale, pull that belly up using the pelvic floor. Sits bones, widen. Exhale, press the belly back and across. Now let's go into the pelvic lift series. Take a breath in, reach through those knees. Exhale, curl the tailbone to your waist. Really curl. Now keep curling like that little doggy tail. Inhale again. Now exhale. Curl up as high as you can comfortably without compressing the neck. And normally it's just right up to the, the really the bottom of the scapula. For some of you it's a little bit lower. Work within your own range. Build up to this position. Now let's just roll down. Inhale, lengthen the head and neck. Exhale, soften the chest. Keep curling. Inhale. Exhale, keep curling, use your belly, use your pelvic floor, use your inner thighs. Inhale, now exhale, roll to neutral, come up again, inhale, exhale, curl. Inhale, keep rolling, reaching through those knees, exhale, curl all the way up. Walking the feet back in if you need to, make sure it's okay on your knees. We'll start with the heel lifts, which was from the section two. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale and down. Now take another breath in before you do a heel lift. Do a little coccyx curl and really make sure that you stay in this position where the highest point is your pubic bone. The ribs are back. Let's do three more heel lifts now that we're in the right position. Lengthen the head and neck away. Inhale, heels lift and down and lift and down and lift and down. Now for stable, a deeper, more advanced stabilization, we're going to do our marching. Make sure you exhale a little bit before you move to stabilize with your abdominals and get your power points engaged. Inhale again. Exhale, press that belly back, the ribs back. And then lift. Now I like to lift 
keep my stronger leg down and then use the other leg to lift. Inhale again. Exhale, take the leg down. My right leg, which suffered a little damage from my injury, is a little bit weaker, so I have to really work on it. Inhale. Exhale, now take with my right leg down, leave one leg down and lift. Inhale. Exhale down. Roll through your foot. Inhale. Keep the pelvic curl. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale down. One more. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale down. Now we're going to stay up here. All right, some of you may need to go down and come back up. That's fine. But we're going to do right now, no buts, and we're going to do our, our hip swing. So we're going to inhale and lift one hip up. So swing it up. And then exhale to the middle. Inhale the other hip swings. Exhale to the middle. Keep the curls. You should really feel all the way around from the, from the pelvic floor all the way up into the abdominals and all in the lower back. You should feel working, not that stinging, burning pain. Inhale, lift, exhale to the middle. And lift to the middle. Keep the curl. Again. Let's inhale up. And exhale to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to the middle. And stay. We're going to do two more, starting with the opposite side. So inhale, lift. Exhale to the middle. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the middle. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale and stay. Now we're going to roll down. Inhale. Exhale, soften the chest. Inhale, keep rolling. Exhale, roll to the bottom of the ribcage and stay there. Inhale, exhale, and roll all the way down to neutral. Oh. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, take them over to the side. Inhale, reach to the knees and exhale, heels down. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale and curl. Inhale and exhale. Now let's do one more stretch today because we work this so much. So you're going to cross one leg over the other. So the ankles is, is across the knee. Use both hands or you might need to use a towel and bring this leg up, making sure you keep your tailbone neutral. So don't curl it up like so or arch it, but just stay neutral. Let me change legs so you can see. So I'm going to do one and then I'm going to take my hand and press that knee open, still staying neutral. My this is my neutral. This would be my tuck and that would be my arch. So I'm really keeping that tailbone down. We'll just take three deep breaths in. You should feel a nice stretch right along the buttocks and up into right in through here into the hamstrings. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now really, you know you should really hold your stretches for at least a minute. 30 seconds, we'll get the muscle the uh, muscles and, and it takes another at least another 30 seconds to get the fascia. So hold your stretches for a good minute, minute and a half. Take a breath in and press onto the knee if you'd like and exhale. There are many different variations that you can do in this for this one. We'll work on different variations as we go tomorrow. I will show you another variation. Breathe in and breathe out. Carefully take one leg down and then the other. Roll to your side and sit up. This was a little bit more challenging. Each day gets more and more challenging. Tomorrow we'll end our pelvic lift series with what I call the one-legged pelvic lift. It's a little bit more challenging. Make sure that you can do all of these sections before you do the super advanced one. It's one of my favorites, but it took me a long time to build up. Listen to your body, listen to your body's wisdom. Keep trying, keep believing in yourself, keep believing that you can do it. If I would have stopped when I was told that I couldn't do it, I really wouldn't have my four beautiful children. I wouldn't have all the beautiful things that I have in my life. Take care, have a great day, a blessed day, think positive thoughts.